So if you have been following me on Instagram, so probably you have seen some stories about buying 27 unit building. So yes, right here, I'm here at the building with my partner where we're going to give you guys a tour of this building, you know, share, you know, why we bought this property and you know, how the building looked like, what we're going to do with this, because everyone thinks that market is going to crash. And in this time, we bought one of the biggest buildings in our portfolio, just 27 units. So if you're ready, let's go check it out. Namaskar, this is Aditya Soma. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're here, if you have been following me, you know that we talk a lot about real estate, how you can use the real estate as a vehicle to achieve financial freedom, because that's what I was able to do for myself. And with this channel, my goal is to make you financially free using real estate. So today, without any ado, I'm here at 27 unit building and with my partner, Zishan. Buddy, first of all, thank you so much, man. Congratulations on a big investment. Yep. So, you know, for those who don't know you, because, you know, we, I never did any videos with you, yep. which I should have done because, you know, you own a bunch of real estate. So for those who don't know you who are you uh yeah my name is Zishan. i'm actually been investing in windsor for the last four to five years spent some time living here as well um, but originally from gta and just building a portfolio here in windsor you know started with single family homes as we both did and then slowly start scaling it to multifamily and had success you know started to build a property management company and then just look at strictly multifamily now yeah. and kind of unload some of the single families yeah so Man, so we are into the multifamily, just like me. If you have seen my 17 year building, same kind of buildings, probably you have like three or four. Yeah, we got, you know, different sizes, <laughs> yeah. sizes 10, 12s, and uh, this is the largest one now. But uh, so I wanted to get above that 20 unit count and start yeah. buying up those kind of buildings. Yeah, so are you excited to pumped up to see this 27 unit building? So we'll start with the first of all, like, you know, where we are standing right now. We are in, it's called Little Italy, like because the whole street has a lot of Italian restaurants, one of the busiest street and a beautiful street. And this building is sitting right in between that street. And the proximity to everything like Caesars is like within 1.5 kilometers. Hospital, Windsor Regional Hospital is 1.5 kilometers. Riverside is 1.5 kilometers. St. Clair and uh, University of Windsor downtown campus is within 1.5 kilometers, two kilometers. And University of Windsor is like probably three kilometers within the bus range. And the bus stop is right in front of the building. And the building is like freaking solid. So that's the reason why, you know, no matter what the market is, the location, the fundamentals are strong. That's why we got into this one. So Zishan, just tell the audience like what the building look like. What's the structure? Yeah, How many so units? we got 27 units here. Um, it's a solid brick, brick construction, which we really like, cause you know, the wood frame is a little bit more maintenance, right? So we have 27 units, 21 residents, units, three stories, and six commercial units, which is mostly retail and office. We do have one barber shop as well. We does also come with a management office, which is going to be leasing to our own management company. And aside from that, in terms of unit mix, we have about six to seven two bedrooms, remainder are one bedrooms, and then we have a bachelor unit. So it's a good mix. And especially with this area, commercial is actually very strong. Yeah. You know, in some areas, you know, commercial will be a little bit more difficult, but this area is, you know, high demand. You have all the restaurants and shops. So even getting a tenant here, we actually placed a tenant during the due diligence process because it was that easy to right. you know, yeah. place a tenant. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Because the location, right? The yeah. prime location. And also what I love about this building is the balconies. Every yes. residential unit got a, like, you know, what do you call closed balcony right. and inside underground parking. Like yes. we got the parking inside and also there is parking because in the prime locations, the biggest challenge is having a parking. Exactly. Yeah. And that's rare to have in this area to have the garage interior parking, you know, covered. And then we have the exterior parking. And then one thing I found different is here, like, you also have a garbage chute system. Yeah. So every floor has a garbage chute. They have their own storage. Uh, you know, we have a laundry as well. We'll likely add in the in-suite laundry, but for now we have the coin laundry in yeah, the basement. Yeah, so if you don't know what the garbage suite system is like, you know, you don't have to go all the way down to throw your garbage. You just put it in the in your floor. You don't have to go down. So that goes directly into the ground and the maintenance person will take care of the ground. So let's go check it inside, you know. Okay, There's sure. just here. Yeah. yeah, we got one unit vacant. So we're going to give you guys a tour sure. on that one unit. But, you know, we're going to share in the next video all the nitty gritties, why we bought it, you know, what's the value adding in this building? Because I don't want to overwhelm you guys in this video. In this video, just enjoy the building tour. Just look and feel how the building laid out. Because one of the things for me, what I love, Zishan reached out to me because Zishan is the one who found the deal and we'll get into that details as well in the next video how we found and how we structured the deal but you know when Zishan reached out I looked at the details roughly for me I always want to you know diversify my tenant portfolio so having a commercial plus two bedroom plus one bedroom plus by a bachelor that's a very good mix personally I love that and with a brick solid brick yeah. Italian yeah. built yeah definitely and, and like you said like the unit mix is great because there's a big spread on the in the rents as well and especially in this location it's you know we're going to be getting premium rent yeah especially if we have a good product like a renovated unit 
and because we have a lot of amenities in this area so yeah. we should be able to get top dollar for rent as well yeah and that's that's the we will discuss more into that if you're a multifamily investor if you would like to know how you can turn over the unit how you can increase the rents how to increase your building value because that's another lot of details that you need to learn if you want to get into multifamily so to start with nice mail area we got every unit got their own mailing spot and the building is like freaking solid like throughout throughout it's dated but nice and clean very well maintained mm -hmm. because one of the things the owner he owned it for 40 years 40 years yeah. so it's pretty much he's original because the building itself is like 45 uh yeah it was built in um late 70s right so yeah he it was built and he bought purchased it right away and so he's been the one owner yeah. and he's kept it like his baby right so those are the prettiest it. cool yeah. things that i love to own right yeah. like you know for a long term because our goal is not to you know buy and do some renovations and flip it we want to keep it forever so this is like one exactly. of the perfect yeah. one to keep it forever Definitely. so let's go show the garage, the garage area first here yeah so every floor like on the main floor we got uh, six commercials and the garage yeah so the garage actually Probably I misworded saying that it's uh, underground. It's not really underground. It's actually Wait, um, yeah. on Indo the ground. Indoor garage. Indoor, gra yeah, indoor yeah. garage. Like, so they got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, probably 10, 11. 11, 11 indoor, plus, yeah. Yeah, so 11 to 12 uh, indoor parking. And we can charge some additional rents yeah, for so. that. Like right now, the owner is not utilizing the potential that much. Mm -hmm. And also one more thing that, you know, with the multifamilies, we want to have a lesser expenses on the utilities because currently the owner is paying for all the utilities but we have one hydro panel mm -hmm. and it's only one meter so maybe we can go see the hydro panel yeah so what to look for what is the putting you know what exactly. type of i mean you know anytime it's all inclusive we always bring an electrician to see what's the possibility of yeah separating the meters and you know charging them on the tenants and you know that cost usually it's upfront quite a bit but you know in the long run it's worth it on the on the valuation right so. yeah exactly and how, you know how, how did we know like you know you told me like right away when you had the property on contract this is doable we can do it yeah so what were some of the things that you look to consider this is possible in this building well we look at exactly how much space is here for meters and then also um you know we bring our electrician during the due diligence um so we rely on him right i mean we can just see that just one panel mm -hmm. you know we can take a look at what's here but in terms of the feasibility of actually separating it and adding the meters we had to bring in our electrician you know and they let us know they work with and and win directly which is the hydro supplier mm -hmm. yeah and they're able to let us know if it's possible and uh, what kind of system we need to yeah. put in. Yeah, so here. if you looked at my 17-year building, if you haven't, I'll put the link here where I already separated because this was exactly like that, where you have a, each unit have their own already like sub panel. They have a panel each unit. Yeah, yeah. that was a big part. Like the sub panel is there. There is like separate break, breaker panel for each individual unit. Only thing is there was no separate meters and the room, because this is another important element like Zishan mentioning, you need to have enough space to accommodate all those hydrometers. Yeah. So that was the thing, like for me, I had the same kind of room, but I had a water tank. I have to oh, move the to tank move a stuff, little yeah. bit because to accommodate, right? And also like, mm -hmm. because they cannot right away take this and put all the meters here. Exactly. They have to have this one continue while doing the meters on some other side, either here or there. Mm -hmm and then switch them. So that's, you need to look for the space. And if there is enough space, then, and like Zishan mentioned, do the due diligence with your electrician. Yeah. Because they know better than us. Yeah, and, and we have an idea of roughly what the cost, because we've both done that in other buildings. So we know, you know, it's going to take some time, but it's, yeah. it's definitely worth it in, in terms yeah. of the upfront cost. Yeah, and if you're wondering what the cost is, approximately for me, it costed around $2,000 per unit, yeah. give or take. Yeah. Again, you know, with the inflation rate and all, maybe it could change. So we can, we'll give you guys tour on one of the unit because we have only one unit vacant. That's another thing. There is no vacancy. It's yeah. completely occupied. And the owner was telling like always. Yeah, occupied. I mean, it's, it's always occupied. We have one unit vacant. We're hoping to get another one. And then obviously we have a game plan to turn over more units. But yeah. for now, you know, like I said, we placed the commercial tenant ourselves. We're going to work on one unit now. Uh, how then, much was the rent before commercial when that got It was vacant? about 800, right? And, and now um, we got- We're doing 1100. We had the tenant renovate the unit himself. We're doing 1100 plus hydro. So that yeah, when we- Right away, just one unit yeah. got 300 extra income. And for yeah. multifamily, that's a big numbers. If 
we can do that for 10 units you know mm-hmm. of course we want to dig, go deep into the numbers in the next video but you know the numbers is the key for multi families mm-hmm. so i think we can see one bit two bedroom unit or one bedroom unit yeah for now it's a one bedroom and one. this is where the garbage system so they all get the garbage in here and we have a person in within the building who take care of all the cleaning take care of the garbage placing them in the bins making sure like the building is you know running smoothly that's another system i really like the previous owner he had a very good relation with the one yeah, of it's the like tenants. a superintendent housekeeper type person right so yeah. it's always good to have and they gave a discount like you know no rent for her just to maintain the building yeah you know the rent probably you can get thousand dollars but uh mm-hmm. you know, someone to maintain care it like a baby and you can see like nice solid you know tile everywhere and the nice and clean yeah i mean that's the main thing it was very clean it is very dated but the thing is it is clean and well kept as you can see it's every every almost every other day she's cleaning or picking up garbage but you know at the end of the day we have a lot of opportunity even in the common areas the lighting's all old you know it's yeah. not not it's energy a bit dark. efficient yeah, yeah. So, not energy efficient and yeah. dark it's dark so we we plan eventually to work on this as well Yep. And on the second floor we got like 11 units or 10. Yep, 10 and 11 and then and then the main floor is just a Yeah, so commercial. the main floor just a commercial, yeah. second floor completely residential. Both the sides every unit got a balcony. That's a cool part. So I think we can see this unit that's vacant. Another cool part about the building is like the units are actually in a mint condition. Doesn't need too much work. Just a cosmetic love. So come in. If you come in, that's also pretty good size one bedroom units. This is like even though it's a one bedroom, if you look on the right side, we got a freaking a huge walk-in closet or you can say pantry whichever you want to call it yeah lots of storage uh, pretty pretty decent sized bedroom and if you look at the washroom nice clean solid maybe we just uh, we might glaze the tile change the vanity maybe change the you know light fixture make it look a little bit more modern but it's currently like functioning very well i mean we like we definitely could rent this right away obviously but we're looking at getting a little bit of premium rent so we will upgrade it cosmetically right yep. the flooring the paint really easy stuff you know upgrade the kitchen yeah um pretty pretty standard stuff in here so if you come here like the flooring right away yeah. you can see this is like dated it's yeah. clean completely clean but just imagine like having a vinyl plank yeah. all of a sudden and the paint like if we have a gray paint and you know yeah. light gray vinyl plank all new fixtures and we yeah. you know freshen it up right it looks like bright and more modern so nowadays the tenants wants to have a clean place because you know when they have a friends come over yeah. they want to feel like you know they're living in a good place mm. and look at you can look at the kitchen like that's another thing yeah this is like typical 80s style kitchen right yeah in terms of the colors and all that pretty much the original original kitchen but if you look at the quality they're yeah. pretty good maybe i was suggesting this and like you know probably we might yeah. not even have to change the cabinet just yeah. the through the doors right yeah, yeah just maybe the doors or maybe just paint them and hardware paint to white and gray and uh, black yeah. knobs and just change the countertop maybe put some subway tile now all of a sudden it looks more modern exactly. that's exactly what i have done in one of my unit yep <laughs> yeah so same thing with the flooring right like it's more like 70s and 80s a grandma's place yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> so yeah just up- upgrade the colors and you know modernize it and you know especially in this area you know you can get quality tenant who's looking for a little bit nicer yeah you know i agree with you especially like in this location yeah. you can get like a lot of nice uh, you know working class couple or yeah. retired couple you know mm-hmm. who has some funds they want to enjoy the place exactly so this is a perfect one yeah and they can enjoy the balcony this is my favorite part in the building every unit and it's a good size it's not even like you know just to hang out if you come here like probably they can accommodate four or five it's especially huge, in summers yeah. especially you're looking out on on Erie street and you know and come here like look at the airflow. brand new construction happening on the street like brand new building like this one but i bet you that build this building is solid than that one yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the very very beautiful yeah guys so that that that's uh, pretty much the tour of the building probably any questions any comments let us know in the comments below and anything that, that i missed jishan for um, in the tour the, probably the only other thing we're probably going to look at putting in ductless split system which we typically do in our buildings yep. um that way the tenants would get ac and heating together it's way more efficient for them since we will be splitting the hydro yep. so you know it'll be lower cost for them but look at the benefit of having yep. cooling as yep. well right so if you understand what it means like i'll break it out just a heating system in the building because it's 70 bills most of uh, all the uh, heating system is baseboard so with the baseboard the problem is nowadays it's very high bills electrical bills and uh, there is no central air so to solve that problem this ductless system we're going to replace each unit whichever that comes vacant we're going to 
going to do those duct clips. So it's going to be efficient, energy efficient, but on top of it, they're going to have a central air and heating. Exactly. And that's, so, that's also like a feature on the rent too, right? Like, yeah. you know, we promote that and advertise that, that they're going to be getting this in yep. addition to that, right? And yes. we're thinking about in-suite laundry too, you know, to get the rent up as well. So that's another thing probably, yeah. you know, if we can squeeze in because we got that extra room. Yes. If we can squeeze the plumbing in, mm -hmm. probably on-suite laundry definitely adds a lot of value yes. because now people who are going to pay that premium rent, they expect those features. Exactly, yeah. So especially for location like this, for the unit like this, that's a huge value. Now they, are, they, they don't have to think about anything. Right. So right. yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Anything else? Uh, last words no, for I, the tour? I think that's it. Um, you know, it's going to be a good opportunity, a good value add opportunity. Obviously, we have great financing terms, which we'll get into later. But so it's, it's a great solid property to have in the portfolio long term. Yeah. And you know, we're looking forward to turning over the building. And, and probably you know, I'll make some progress videos as well. So stay tuned on that. But also, like just a final word, if you are interested in building something like this, if you want to get in, maybe you cannot do by yourself. You want to partner up because we are always looking for investment partners who wants to get in buildings like this who, want, who have a long-term plan reach out to us we'll put a uh, information in the description make sure you know send us a, a dm or you know email us saying that you're interested to partner up with me with us you know on projects like this so we always have opportunities for those so with that hope you enjoyed the tour you know make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment what you think about this building so with that i'll see you in the next video with more details about this project okay